Hey everyone, welcome back to Bio School. This is Gayatri. Hope you all are fine. Today I am with an important topic from genetics that is tetrad analysis. This is really a very important topic. So please do watch the video till the end. Let's begin. So the first the question is what is tetrad analysis? Have you ever heard the term tetrad? Yes, it is in meiosis, right? So what exactly tetrad analysis is and why it is used you know the tetrad analysis it is used to determine the gene distance or the linkage between the genes by using the four products of meiotic tetrads okay so let me write down the definition tetrad analysis it is used to determine the gene distance by using the four products of meiotic tetras okay and tetrad analysis it is of two type what are those one is known as the ordered tetrad analysis and the other one is unordered unordered tetrad analysis ordered tetrad analysis it is studied in neurospora spora and unordered tetrad analysis it is studied in yeast okay and here one important point i want to mention is that tetrad analysis it is studied in haploid organisms okay neurospora and yeast are the haploid organisms so in today's session we will focus on ordered tetrad analysis i will make a separate video for unordered tetrad analysis so let's know in details about ordered tetrad analysis and why it is called as order tetrad analysis so the order tetrad analysis okay so what is order tetrad analysis and for what it is used order tetrad analysis it is used to to find out the distance between gene of interest from centromere okay order tetrad analysis it is to find out the distance between gene of interest from the centromere and it is studied in neurospora neurospora it is a haploid organism neurospora it undergoes meiosis followed by one round of mitosis so let's understand by an example so this is the chromosome and you know this one is the centromere let's say the gene of interest is a okay and by using order tetrad analysis we will find out the distance between gene of interest that is a from centromere okay this distance we can calculate it by using ordered tetrad analysis and where it is studied it is studied in neurospora and neurospora it undergoes meiosis followed by mitosis okay so at the end of the meiosis the tetrad what are formed that is used for find out the gene distance okay that's why it is called as the tetrad analysis so these are the two chromosome and they undergo the process of meiosis so during that time it will be doubled and at the end of meiosis they will get separate so what are the product of past meiosis so these are the product of past meiotic division right two separate cells will be formed these are the product of past meiotic division past so meiosis is two stages right meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so it will be undergo the second phase in the second phase this chromatids they will be separated these are the product of second meiotic division so at the end of meiosis here you can see we got the tetrads right 1 2 3 4 these are the tetrads and these tetrads are actually used to find out the distance between the genes from centromere in order tetrad analysis so in neurospora in ascus the spores let's say capital a capital a small a small a they are arranged in a ordered okay that's why it is called as ordered tetrad analysis why it is called tetrad because for finding out the gene distance 
we are using the tetras that are formed at the end of meiosis and the spores which are present in the ascus of neurospora that are in that are arranged in in an order okay that's why it is called as ordered tetrad analysis as i told you that at the end of the meiosis neurospora it undergoes one round of mitosis so if it will undergoes the mitosis then what will be its product you know at the end of the mitosis the whatever the products are there that will simply be doubled okay so look at here here we get four capital s and four small s and these are the parental combination right so this point you have to remember for solving any problems from order tetrad analysis so in order tetrad analysis the parental combination is 4 is true 4 is 4 is true 4 if the spores in ascus they are present as 4 is to 4 ratio then these are the parental type i'm writing it as pt parental type there is no recombination between these two chromosome in their they are present as such as they are in their parents now we will see the recombinant type so if there is a crossing over between these two between this one and this chromatid then what will be the product the product it will be okay one it will be the parental type there is no crossing over in one chromatid this is capital a but the other one there is crossing over so here you will find the small a and here it is capital a because of the recombination then small a right these are the product of first meiotic division okay then it will go for the second meiotic division this is the product of first meiotic division then it will go for the second in the second the tetrad they will be separated these are the product of second division second meiotic division then it will go for the mitosis right so in the mitosis simple the product it will be doubled okay so these are the product of mitosis so is there is a crossing over okay as there is a crossing over between these two so what we got at the end of mitosis here we observed two capital letter a then two small letter a then two capital letter a then two small letter a okay these letters it represents the genes so what is the ratio if there is a recombination the ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 okay if it is a recombinant type then the ratio it will be 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 okay but the parental type parental type has 4 is to 4 okay if there is no recombination then the, that is parental type and the ratio is 4 is to 4 but if there is a recombination then the ratio it will be 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 okay so let's say the another crossing over we will do and look into the ratio now we will cross over between these two two chromatids okay this one will be same and as there is a crossing over then what will we find here the small a this small a it will be now here and the capital a it will be here because of the crossing over so now this one is the small a and this one it will remain as such these are the product of past mutic division in the past step we have crossed between these two okay but here we cross this one this one with this one the last one okay so what we got as past meiotic product capital a small a then small a capital a right then it will undergo the second meiotic division in the second meiotic division the chromatid it will be separated so these are the product of second 
meiotic division right only the chromatids they get separated capital a small a small a capital a then after the meiosis it will undergo the mitosis okay in the mitosis whatever would the product in the second meiotic phase that will simply be doubled okay let's do it so here we observed two genes or the two are capital a then four small a's then two capital a's so the ratio is two is two four is two two this is also recombinant type two is to four is to two if it is parental type then the, then the ratio will be four is to four but if it is recombinant type then if it is recombinant type then it will be either 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 or it will be 2 is to 4 is to 2 okay and but this ratio we will solve questions from order tetrad analysis so here another point to remember that in order tetrad analysis you will find only one gene okay what you will find you will find only one gene if it in the question only one gene is present then this question it is about ordered tetrad analysis and in order tetrad analysis it is used to find out the distance between gene of interest from the centromere right so let's see an example so this is the question okay let's solve this question so here you can see that only one gene is present that is a if only one gene is present then be sure that this question is from ordered tetrad analysis ordered and this is used to find out the distance between gene of interest from the centromere okay gene to centromere so the gene distance how it is calculated the gene distance in my previous video in the three point cross i have explained that the gene distance it is calculated in terms of recombination frequency so what is the recombination frequency between the gene and the centromere is the distance between them so the recombination frequency the formula for recombination frequency is total number of recombinant divided by total number of progeny progeny multiplied by 100 okay this is the formula for recombination frequency how can you calculate we can calculate by dividing total number of recombinants with total number of progeny then multiplying by 100 right so for the order tetrad analysis what is the ratio for recombinant type i have explained you earlier so that if it is a recombinant type then the ratio it will be either 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 or it will be 2 is to 4 is to 2 these are the recombinant type and if it is the parental type then the ratio it will be 4 is to 4 okay let's see the let's look into the first here you can see the 4 capital a then 4 small a so it is 4 is to 4 ratio that is it, this one is the parental type okay this is the parental type let me write down above then in the second same four small a four small letter is and four capital letter is that means four is to four ratio so this one is also parental type no recombination parental type okay so you may think that here we get the first four capital a's then followed by 
force more or less but but in the second case the thing is just opposite this is because of the change in the chromosomal plate during the process of meiosis okay then move into the next here we find two capital s okay two capital s then two small s then two capital s then again two small s so what is it it is a recombinant type because we got 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 ratio so let me write it as a rt okay. this one 2 small s 2 capital s 2 small s then 2 capital s 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 so this one is also a recombinant type and look at your your 2 capital s then 4 small s then 2 capital s so it is 2 is to 4 is to 2 ratio this is also recombinant type and the last one 2 small s then 4 capital s then 2 small s so this one is also recombinant type is showing 2 is to 4 is to 2 ratio okay so from this question now we got which one is the parental type and which one is the recombinant type so the progeny of recombinant types are 14 16 17 and 13 let's write down recombination frequency equal to total number of recombinant total number of recombinant is 14 plus 16 plus 17 plus 13 divided by total number of progeny total number of progeny means is both the parental type as well as the recombinant type all and uh, if we add all this then we will get it's 300 okay so that it will be 300 just put 300 then multiply it by 100 so after multiplication we will get 14 plus 16 plus 17 plus 13 is uh, equal to 60 divided by 300 multiplied by 100 so it will be 20 and you know the recombination frequency it is represented by by percentage okay but is it the final answer no look at here the recombinant type in all the recombinant types in recombination we will find 50 percent parental type and 50 percent recombinant type how look at here small a small a it should be present in one chromosome so this one is the parental type and this one is also in the parental type and these are and these are the recombinants that's why final result will be recombination frequency divided by 2 okay recombination frequency divided by 2 equal to 20 by 2 is 10 percentage but the gene distance is represented by unit centimorgan so what will be the answer it will be the 10 centimorgan or 10 map unit it will be the answer if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel stay connected till then keep learning